Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss a question which says that if both the roots of the quadratic equation x square minus p plus 3 the whole into x plus p plus x is equal to 0 are negative, calculate the values of p. Now before starting the solution of this question we should know about the method. And that is the method of intervals. For this method, in the first step, we have to factorize the quality expression whose coefficient of x square is positive and x plus the left hand side of the inequality in the form x minus alpha the whole into x minus beta the whole where alpha is less than beta. In the second step plot the points alpha and beta on the number line Thus, dividing the number line into three parts. Now, after dividing the number line into three parts, and after plotting the points alpha and beta here, starting from the rightmost region, put the signs plus, minus, and plus. Such that the expression x minus alpha the whole into x minus beta the whole is non-negative. In the region on the right of beta, when x minus alpha the whole into x minus beta the whole is greater than equal to zero, then the required range is minus infinity is less than x is less than equal to alpha or beta is less than equal to x is less than infinity. Now this method will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now given the quadratic equation x square minus p plus 3 the whole into x plus p plus 6 is equal to 0. Now let the roots be minus alpha and minus beta where alpha beta are positive. Now we have taken these as the roots of this equation. Now comparing this equation with the standard form of quadratic equation here a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus of p plus 3 and c is equal to p plus 6. Now sum of the roots is equal to minus b over a that means minus alpha plus of minus beta is equal to minus putting the values of b and a here it will be minus of p plus 3 by 1. This implies 
minus alpha minus beta is equal to p plus 3. Further, this implies that in minus common written brackets alpha plus beta is equal to p plus 3. This implies p plus 3 is less than 0. As this is a negative quantity. Also, product of the roots is equal to C over A. That means minus alpha into minus beta is equal to putting the values of C and A here, it will be P plus 6 over 1. This implies alpha beta is equal to P plus 6. This implies P plus 6 is greater than 0 as alpha into beta is positive. Now let us take this as 1 and this as 2. From 1 and 2 we have P plus 3 is less than 0 and P plus 6 is greater than 0. This implies P is less than minus 3 and P is greater than minus 6. Now on combining these two, we get minus 6 is less than P is less than minus 3. Now let us name it as 3. Now, the roots are also supposed to be real. Therefore, the discriminant D is greater than equal to 0. This implies D square minus 4AC is greater than equal to 0. Now putting the values of A, B and C here, this implies minus of P plus 3 square minus 4 into 1 into P plus 6 the whole is greater than equal to 0 which implies P plus 3 whole square minus 4 into P plus 6 the whole is greater than equal to 0 this implies opening the square this will be P square plus 9 plus 6p minus 4p minus 4 into 6 is 24 is greater than equal to 0. Further, this implies p square plus 2p minus 15 is greater than equal to 0. Now this implies by splitting the middle term we get p square plus 5p minus 3p minus 15 is greater than equal to 0. Now this implies p within brackets p plus 5 minus 3 within brackets p plus 5 is greater than equal to 0. Further, this implies p minus 3 the whole into p plus 5 the whole is greater than equal to 0. Now putting each factor equal to 0 we get p is equal to 3 and p is equal to minus 5. Now by using the method of intervals
we will plot the points 3 and minus 5 on the number line. Now we have plotted the points minus 5 and 3 on the number line. Now starting from the very right, put the signs plus, minus and plus. As p plus 5 the whole into p minus 3 the whole is greater than equal to 0, then according to the result given in the key idea, if x minus alpha the whole into x minus beta the whole is greater than equal to 0, then the required range is minus infinity is less than x is less than equal to alpha or beta is less than equal to x less than infinity. So the required range is minus infinity is less than p is less than equal to minus 5 or 3 is less than equal to p less than infinity. Now let us give it as number 4. Now combining the results of 3 and 4 we get minus 6 is less than p is less than equal to minus 5. Here in the in equation 3 we have minus 6 less than p less than minus 3. And in the in equation 4, we have minus infinity is less than p is less than equal to minus 5. So combining these two, we have this result. So this is the solution of the given question. And that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.